Well, tonight we are kicking off our Earth Day Every Day series with a way to keep your old shoes out of a landfill. 3 News Now's Ron Johnson reports on the impact a Council Bluffs nonprofits having on the planet and neighbors in need. It's not often most of us think of the environmental impact of shoes. Everyone has shoes in their closet, uh, shoes that they need to get rid of, but when we throw those shoes away, those shoes take a thousand years at least to break down in landfills. The 712 initiative says shoes and clothing waste makes up about 66% of what's in our landfills. Across Council Bluffs and Pottawatomie County, they're collecting as many shoes as they can, giving them a second life. Shoes that can still be worn are given to those in developing countries. And they use those shoes, uh, they clean them up, and the ones that are reusable, they sell them. It gives them inventory for their small businesses and putting uh, you know, money back into their economy. Others that might be a little worse for wear are recycled. It's crazy to think that some of those, you know, the rubber soles on somebody's shoes are being ground up into asphalt that my kids will play on. Jennifer Fletcher has become the go-to person to donate shoes in her hometown. My front porch has actually become that drop-off zone. Um, so I would say that last year we probably donated at least 200 pairs of shoes from the Underwood area. And she's not the only one. The kids really get into it, uh, especially with the schools and having the competitions. Um, Riverside's one of our big, they really come through. Last year, they collected 4,000 pairs of shoes. The 712 initiative has about 30 locations across Council Bluffs where you can donate your old shoes. They ask that you just look for the boxes you see here. Now before you donate, make sure you lace your shoes up that have them or you can rubber band the ones that don't have laces and just put them in. In Council Bluffs, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now. About 30 locations are taking part in the shoe drive, and we'll link you to the website where you'll find that list at 3newsnow.com.